IVP Sports presents the Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. Brought to you by Fairfield Medical Center, Dagger Law, the Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield Federal, The Carriage Company, The Savings Bank, Fairfield DD, Personal Touch Party Rentals and Events, The Edwards Insurance Agency, Buckeye Toyota, Huddle Tire and Auto, and North Body Shop. Hey, good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Interface Video Productions Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. I'm Jared Stewart tonight. We're at Millersport High School as we kick off our tournament action. And we've got a special treat for you tonight. Two teams from the Mid-State League Cardinal doing battle. Two teams that we have uh, not seen in quite some time on the basketball court. But these are two teams that split throughout the regular season. Millersport uh, comes in at 8-12 and 12 overall. 6-8 and eight in the Mid-State League Cardinal. Fairfield Christian Academy comes in with the exact same record, 8-12 and 12 overall, 6-8 and eight in the Mid-State League Cardinal. As I mentioned, these two teams have played twice, being in the same conference. They played on uh, December 14th. That was a game that uh, Fair Fairfield Christian lost that one, 54-45. to 45. And then they played on January 25th here at Millersport, and Fairfield Christian won that one, 50-42. to 42. So I guess you could say... Tonight, we have the rubber match uh, of this three-game set, as uh, Marty Brenneman would say uh, in baseball. Millersport Lakers coming in, uh, a team that started the season on fire. They won three games in a row to start their season. They beat Liberty Christian, Fisher Catholic, and Burn Union. In fact, they beat Burn Union twice this season. Swept them. They also swept Fisher Catholic. This is a team, though, that's lost five of their last six games after beating Burn Union on January 21st. They are coming off of two straight losses to Rosecrans 59-49, and then Northside Christian 55-45. Meanwhile, Fairfield Christian, they're coming off a win last Thursday night over Fisher Catholic, a hard fought 46-41 victory. For the Millersport Lakers, look for Trey Johnston leading the way. 17.3 points per ball game is what he averages. This is a kid that really seeing uh, most uh, the more varsity time this year than ever. Last year just averaged four points a game. He was the Sixth man on this Millersport team that graduated six seniors from last year. Trey's really stepped up, according to his coach, and become the leader of this basketball team. And he's become much more aggressive, and they attribute that to playing football this year. Michael Levesey scores 12.3 points per ball game, also 10.4 rebounds per game, and 2.6 blocks per game. Jordan Ross is the other main player for this Lakers team in this trio that averages double figures. Jordan Ross also averages 12.3 points per ball game. Tip off tonight brought to you by North Body Shop, providing quality customer service, parts, and reliability since 1979. Owner Mark North will provide you with a free written warranty on each estimate. That's Mark North of North Body Shop. He'll treat you right. For the Lakers, jumping center will be Tra Trevor Trainish, a senior. And for the Knights of Fairfield Christian, it will be number five, Jay Long, who is also a senior and six foot two. Tip is controlled, ironically, by the same man who did the jumping for Fairfield Christian. It was tipped right back to him after he got the original tip. Man-to-man -man defense from the Lakers. Right side, Keener swings it back out front to Long. Left side, they get it now to Matthew Keener. Keener. Dribbles to the corner, kick it back out. Nice ball movement and patience. Dump inside to the big man. Nice no-look pass to the corner. Three up, no good. John Gravens fights for the rebound. It's tipped around, controlled by the Knights. Good head fake there. Shot no good. Finally, a defensive rebound by the Lakers. Trevor Trainish pulls it out of there. Here comes Millersport, right side. Jordan Ross fires up the three, no good. Right there for the backside rebound and putback is Trey, Trey Johnston. And the Lakers on the board first. Keener swings it left side to Andrew Keener. Now back out front to Long. Out front, Ben Hopple, the six foot three junior. Swings it left to Andrew Keener. Hopple thought about the three, doesn't take it as Mikey Smith 
Closed out on him pretty quickly. Now here's Long. Give it back to Keener. Keener looks over at Coach Roger Hooper in his 14th season at Fairfield Christian. In fact, that is by far the longest tenured coach at one school in our area. Of course, we have Kent Riggs at Lancaster who's been coaching for quite a while. There's a nice pass and a dump then underneath, and Jay Long gets the Knights on the board. Here's a replay of that backside board on the other end for Trey Johnston and his putback. We are tied up at two, 5.59 to play in the first quarter. Pass to the elbow. Michael Levesey kicks it back out. Trey Johnston now back over to Jordan Ross for three. No good. And that will sail out of bounds back to FCA. Mentioned Roger Hooper in his 14th year at Fit, uh, Fairfield Christian. We said that uh, there, there are some coaches in our area that have been coaching for quite a long time. Kent Riggs at uh, Lancaster has been coaching for quite a long time. However, in at one school, uh, current school, Hooper's got that with 14 years. On the other side for Millersport, Tyler Coward in his, I believe, third year. And we are tied up at two here. 5.28 to play in the first quarter. Long thought about the three. Tries to dribble through a couple of guys. It's stripped, and it goes out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lakers. Glad you're joining us on this Tuesday night for high school basketball tournament coverage as we kick off our tournament action with a couple of Mid-State League Cardinal teams who split throughout the regular season. Ironically, Fairfield Christian won at Millersport. Millersport won at Fairfield Christian. So we'll see how it falls tonight. Nice job by the big man, John Grabens. Strong inside to put the Knights up by two, four to two. Johnston gets it down underneath. Another nice head fake and shot up and in for Trevor Trainish. And we have a whistle and a foul going to be called on Trey Johnston. Here's Grabens. Really nice job by him. Not much you can do about that. I mean, defense was good. He just was strong inside. Johnston was called for the foul. That's his first, and we have a timeout on the floor. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by The Carriage Company, located at 1031 North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. You can check out their website at carriagecompany.com. I want to thank the uh, athletic directors in these two schools, Richard Spindler here at Millersport, Marcus Pardon Dudash at Fairfield Christian, those two uh, providing us with information. And, of course, it's nice to be here at Millersport. We haven't been here uh, in actually quite some time. It, 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 since I've been doing games here with Interface Video, I've never done a game here. Nice-looking nice gym. The floor looks beautiful. You can tell it's been uh, well taken care of. 4-4 four to four the score here. 4.51 to play in the first quarter. It'll be Knights basketball. Out of the timeout. Keener gets it right side to Hopple. Good ball movement. Nice dump inside to Hopple. His shot's no good, but he's fouled. Foul's called on Mikey Smith. That's his first. So that will send Ben Hopple to the free throw line to shoot two shots. First one's up and in and out. Here's the replay. They got a nice look inside. Couldn't get the shot, but he was fouled. Second free throw for Hopple. That one's good. 5-4 Knights. 4-34 in the first quarter. Johnston gives it left side to Mikey Smith. Now back to Johnston. Get it to the free throw line. The southpaw, Michael Levesey, couldn't get it to go. Rebounded by Fairfield Christian. Gravens back out now to Keener. Andrew Keener gives off to Matthew Keener. <coughs> Keener drives inside the paint, and he's fouled. Going to get... Jordan Ross this time. That's three fouls on the Lakers. And Mikey, or rather, uh, Matthew Keener going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. Matthew 
Matthew Keener, the five foot eight junior. First free throw up and good. And we have a sub coming in for Millersport. That's Wyatt Collins, the junior. Here's a look at the bench for Millersport Lakers. Pretty good year this year, even after losing six seniors. They've had some uh, nice wins. Mentioned uh, they swept Burn Union, they swept Fisher Catholic. Team that has three players averaging double figures. Trey Johnston, Michael Levesey, and Jordan Ross. There's a pass over that's controlled by Ross. Now a loose ball, tipped and controlled by the Knights. Jay Long takes it to the hoop. No good, rebounded and tipped out of bounds by Keener, and it goes back to the Lakers. Here's the replay. Good hustle by the Lakers to get back. That's Jordan Ross. Got to think if he does a little bit more acting right there and falls, he might get a charge call as Millersport turns it over. Six for the score. Fairfield Christian on top. Keener right side. Ella swinging around. Dump inside to Hopple. Good recovery by Jordan Ross. Trailing his man and tips it out of bounds. Gravens will inbound. The six foot five junior. Gets it into Keener. Skip pass. Shot is up and in for Jay Long. That's four points for Long. Eight to four. Knights have doubled him up. There's a pass that's tipped. Goes out of bounds. It'll stick with the Lakers. Wyatt Collins is into the ball game now for Millersport. Inbound pass comes in to Levesey as Here's the replay, that pass that went off the hand. And out of bounds, right into our cameraman, Tom Russo, down on the court. But you don't see Tom flinching, as there's a pass stolen away by the Knights. Jay Long takes it, that's his second steal of the night. Hopple now has trouble with it in the corner. Gets it back to Keener. Matthew Keener over now to Grabens. Now Hopple. Hoppo dribbles down to the block, kick it back out to Long, and almost had it stolen away. Andrew Keener now gets it to the block, and now kick it back out and reset it. Matthew Keener settles him down, resets an offense. We can hear him from up here calling motion. The 218 to play, nice pass. Keener up to the hoop, no good. It's out of bounds, it goes back to Millersport. as Trevor Trainish got hit in the chin, might have bit his tongue, he was checking his mouth. Another instance where maybe if he falls, they get a charge. Long range three, way out there. No good, and a whistle and a foul gonna be called on the rebound attempt. I believe they're gonna get Jay Long. Yes it is, Jay Long, that's his first, and the first one on the Knights. Man, that was way out there. That was beyond the volleyball line. Here, he's right on the volleyball line. There's another whistle and a foul. I believe they're gonna get Matthew Keener. Yes, they will. Millersport to inbound underneath their own hoop. Comes in to Johnston. He'll fire it up again from way downtown. No good. Ball loose. And it will stick with the Lakers. Another three up and in this time for Trey Johnston. That pulls him back to within one at 8-7 with 1.41 to play and counting here in the first quarter. Left side Keener. 
Andrew Keener. Over now to Hopple. Hopple on the drive. Tight defense put on. There's shots blocked into the hands of Jordan Ross. Ross now has it stolen, and they're going to get Andrew Keener with the foul. Here it is. I think it's the body at the end of that that got him the foul. I think the steal was clean, but he kind of bodied him up as he was going through him. Inbound pass comes into Johnston, who has five points of his team's seven right now, averaging 17.3 per ball game. Pass back to Ross. Ross had to change his shot, almost goes in anyway. In the air, he had to change it as he was had somebody on him in the corner, Hopple. Hopple, nice head fake, shot no good. Rebound by the Knights, kick it back out to Keener. He fires up the three and got it. That's Andrew Keener for three. And the Knights up 11-7, under a minute to play in the first quarter. Johnston, over now to Levesey. He'll fire up the three, and he got it. The lefty, Michael Levesey, drains a three. Back to within one at 11-10 with 30 seconds to play in the quarter. They'll swing it around to Keener. Dump inside, Hopple is wide open. And he's hammered, he's going to the free throw line. Levesey called for the foul, that's his first and the fourth on the Lakers. Hopple back to the line, he's one for two there on the night. Ben Hopple, a six foot three junior. Free throws up and good. Sub coming in for Millersport. That'll be number 23, Peyton Dilly, a freshman. He'll replace Michael Levesey. Want to get him out before he picks up that second foul here late in the first quarter. Hopple, second free throw up and also good. Three points in the game for Hopple off of the free throw line. 13-10 nights. 16 seconds of counting in the first quarter. Trey Johnston brings it up. Down to 10 seconds, and the ball tipped out of bounds, stays with the Lakers. Johnston to inbound. Down to eight seconds. Skip pass over to Ross. Down to five seconds. Ball loose on the floor, taken by the Knights. It's still loose, and they will not get a shot off. John Grabens did all he could, but if your coach... Tyler Coward for the Lakers, not very pleased with that last possession. They had a chance to run some clock and get a last shot, but they never did get one off. So at the end of one, 13-10 is the score. Fairfield Christian over Millersport. Hey, we want to say thank you to Fairfield DD. Fairfield DD supporting more than 1,200 people with developmental disabilities and their families in Fairfield County, bringing about a vibrant community where people can lead fulfilling lives and make meaningful contributions. That's Fairfield DD. Thanks to them, and as well as all of our sponsors making high school basketball possible and our uh, <laughs> tournament coverage. Mentioned uh, Coach Roger Hooper for Fairfield Christian. Tyler Coward in his fourth season. I said third earlier. It's his fourth season here at Millersport. One returning letter winner. That's Trey Johnston, who we said uh, only averaged four points last year. He's up to 17.3 points per ball game this year. Some key newcomers for this Millersport team, Michael Levesey, Jordan Ross, and Trevor Trainish. Coach says they've grown a lot throughout this season, a season where maybe they've, uh, they've done some things they weren't expected to do. Millersport finished the season 8-12 overall, 6-8 in the Mid-State League Cardinals, same record as Fairfield Christian. And it will be Laker basketball to start the second quarter. Johnston skips it over to Ross. Just a step inside the, free, the three point line. Shots no good. Rebounded by Wyatt Collins, and his putback is up and in. 
Good work by Wyatt Collins underneath the hoop. On the other end, almost stolen away by Collins. He's putting some tight defense on Hopple. Five second count is on and now he's gonna be called for the foul. Here's the replay. Great job by Collins. He did not have position there, but he was able to fight for it. Went straight up, so that's no foul. And did a good job getting the, the score. Here's Keener. Now Hopple for three. No good. Matthew Keener fights for the rebound. Nice pass over to Grabens. Can't get the shot to go. It's out of bounds. No, they'll say it goes back to Millersport. I thought Levesey hit it. In fact, I think he might have thought he hit it. He's smiling as he goes back up the court. Johnston picks up his dribble, passes to the corner. It's tipped out of bounds. It stays with the Lakers. 13-12, 7-10 to play in the first half. Inbound all the way over on the right side. Inside, Collins off the glass and in. Wyatt Collins with four consecutive points. Puts his team in the lead for the first time, 14-13. Keener back to Andrew Keener, or Matthew Keener that is. Almost has it stolen away. And now he does have it stolen on a pass. Wyatt Collins steals it away. Here comes Johnston quickly up the floor. Wow, Circus shot no good, but he's fouled. Fouls caught on Andrew Keener. That's his second. Here's the replay. There's one, two, two steps. Boy, he hung in the air a long time there. First free throw up and good. Sub coming in for Fairfield Christian. That's Julius Wilson, a senior. This Knights team with just two seniors. Wilson as well as Jay Long. And another sub comes into the ball game for Fairfield Christian. That's Josh Gribben, sophomore. That's Trey Johnston, eyes up his second free throw. It is up and good. Seven points for Johnston, 16-13 lead for the Lakers. Keener, back out front to Wilson, and his pass goes right through the hands of Gribben out of bounds. Johnston looks at that man-to-man -man defense, now skips it to the corner. And pass stolen away, tried to get it inside to Levesey, and it's stolen by Keener. Here's Gribben, back to Keener. Swinging around Wilson, now right side Hopple. Hopple fires up the three, no good. Rebound tipped and controlled by Collins. Wyatt Collins has played very well here in the last couple minutes for Millersport, the sixth man. Here's a three put up, no good for Ross. Rebounded by Keener. Gribben the other way. Stuck inside the paint. He's tied up, kicks it back out. Into the hands of Sam Rao. And now a three-point attempt put up. No good for Gribben. Controlled by the Lakers. On the other end for the Lakers, a three up for Jordan Ross. His first points of the night. And the Lakers up by six, 19 to 13. Their biggest lead of the night. <coughs> Keener left side now to Wilson. Now back out front to Rao. Here's Hopple. And a whistle. I believe a three second violation on FCA. Here's that three by Jordan Ross. Good stroke there. Oh 
19 to 13, under five minutes to play in the first half. They'll kick it down to the corner to Peyton Dilly. Now underneath, the foul gonna be called as Trevor Trainish goes up, but was hammered. Foul's called on Julius Wilson. That'll be his first. So Trevor Trainish, the senior, goes to the free throw line. First one's no good. Four subs coming in for Fairfield Christian. John Grabens comes back in. Also in is Jeremiah Vance. Jay Long comes back in. And one of the Keeners comes back in. 4.49 to play in the first half. Second free throw up and no good for Trainish. Rebounded by Long. Knights trail it, 19-13. Inside, they'll get it to Long. Just could not get it to go, in and out. They're getting some good looks under there. And a timeout called on the tie-up. Nice job by Levesey. Doe for the basketball, was tied up and just quickly calls a timeout before they could call a jump ball. Timeout tonight brought to you by The Carriage Company, located at 1031 North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. You can check out their website at carriagecompany.com. Got some other games uh, going on tonight that we want to uh, keep an eye on, of course, as we are into tournament action. The Lancaster Golden Gales are uh, at Grove City tonight in the Division I tournament action. In girls' action, we've got uh, Amanda Clear Creek taking on Marion Pleasant in the Division Three district semifinal. So good luck to both those teams tonight. We will check to see if we can get some score updates uh, in just a little bit. Out of the timeout, Millersport basketball. Leading at 19-13. Four and a half minutes to play in the first half. Johnston. Right idea, Levesey was open, but the pass was too soft and it's stolen away. I think if he puts a little bit more on it, he's gonna be able to get it to him for an easy hoop, but just not a crisp enough pass. There you go. Just converged on by two guys and stolen away, and Levesey gonna have to check out with two fouls. Wyatt Collins comes back in. Over in the corner, Keener. Back out now to Long. Long, a little running jumper inside the paint. It's good. That ends a long drought of scoring for Fairfield Christian. And it's 19-15 now. Long with six points in the game. Skip pass over to Ross. Ross now to Collins. Collins just going to drive and dump it over the corner. Back around now to Ross. Here's Trainish. Johnston thinking about that three, but they're tight defense on him. Ross will take it, though. No good off the iron. And he steals it away. Here's Collins up and in. Grabens just did not see Jordan Ross, and Ross stole it away and found Collins for an easy two. Here's another steal. Trevor Trainish this time. The other way, Ross for three, and he got it. Jordan Ross with six points in the game, both from beyond, or all from beyond the three-point arc, and the Lakers lead at 24-15. Watch this right here. The long-range three off the iron. Grabens gets the rebound. Tries to throw the pass, and just right there is Ross. Just tips it right into the hands of Wyatt Collins. And the Lakers now with their biggest lead of the night, 24 to 15. Boy, Wyatt Collins, we mentioned him. He came off the bench in the first quarter. He's a sixth man, and he's played very well. He's got six points already in the game. He's got some rebounds, playing some good basketball. The winner of this game will move on to take on Grove City Christian, who is another member of the Mid-State League Cardinal. That's going to be a tough matchup. Grove City Christian finished second in the MSL Cardinal with a 12-9 overall record and 10-4 and in the Mid-State League Cardinal. Their only losses, they were swept by Harvest Prep. They were beaten by Fisher Catholic once and Rosecrans once. So that's going to be a tough one 
awaiting the winner of this one. But both these teams uh, feel like they can get something rolling. They can uh, they can make a little run here. Right now, the Lakers lead at 24-15 with 3:11 to play in the first half. It will be Fairfield Christian basketball. Matthew Keener brings it up. Kick it back out to Andrew Keener around the long and Al Hoppel. Trying to get Grabens down on the block, but a good defense by Millersport won't allow him to do that. Hoppel now back out to long. Keener being worked on by Johnston. Gets it over to Matthew Keener. Nice drive there by Matthew Keener, putting it up and in. 24-17. Here's the Lakers. Pass over to Trainish. Nice look over to Collins. His shot is, is blocked and somehow ends up into the hands way out there to Jordan Ross. Here's Ross again. Drive. Got a little sloppy with the pass there and it's stolen away by Andrew Keener. Keener quickly the other way, coast to coast. Shot's good and he's fouled. Here he goes. Andrew Keener through two guys. Guess it's a continuation there. Free throw's no good, it did not hit anything. Meanwhile, the foul was called on Jordan Ross. That's his second, and so he's going to have to check out. Michael Levesey checks in. No, they will keep Ross in the game. It's Peyton Dilly that checks out. So now the Lakers have Levesey and Ross both with two fouls in the game. 24-19 the score, two minutes to play in the first half. Johnston dribbles right side. Being worked on by Keener, gets it inside. Now back out to Collins. Now Johnston. Johnston drives baseline. Left-handed jumper, no good. Rebound tipped into the hands of Trainish. Now back out Ross for three. Got it again. Three threes in the game for Jordan Ross, and it's 27-19 Lakers. Keener back out. Swinging around the long, now Hopple inside Grabens. Grabens backing his way in. Strong with the basketball, puts it up no good. Rebounded by Levesey. Johnston had the ball tipped, gets it into Collins. Off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Trainish. His shot, no good. Grabens a rebound. Here come the Knights. Two on three, skip it over to Hopple. Now back out, Matthew Keener for three, and it's in. Six points for Matthew Keener, 27-22. 40 seconds of counting to play here in this first half. Keener now with the steal and calls the timeout. Are they going to give it to him? Yes, they will. Matthew Keener just tips it and steals it away. No, they will not give it to him. I guess they said it's out of bounds, so to go back to the Lakers. And now we have a stoppage. Good job by the official to bring a couple players together who were having a conversation after that last play. So he calms them down, takes control of the situation. Here's that last play as Matthew Keener. Watch him tip it here. That's clean. He dives for it, tries to call timeout, but he didn't have control, and he's out of bounds. So the ball stays with Millersport. But a nice hustle play there by Matthew Keener. Lakers with the basketball. Down to 27 seconds and counting here in the first half. They lead it 27-22. Johnston had a look. No good. Long the rebound. Here come the Knights. Jay Long. Nice pass over to Graben. Still fire up a three in the corner. No good. Down to 10 seconds. Johnston. Down to eight. Johnston takes the screen. Down to four. Skips it over. Three up, no good. And time will expire here in the first half with Millersport on top, 27 to 22 in this Division Four sectional 
semifinal game, opening round tournament game of these two Mid-State League Cardinal Division teams. We're going to take a timeout. We come back. We will have first half stats and analysis. This is the high school basketball game of the week. Stay with us. Hi, I'm Burbridge Cook, Executive Director at Connection West. We are a community center focused on helping families with their immediate needs by walking alongside them with programming to help equip them for generational change. This month, we are very grateful to be chosen as a recipient of Buckeye Toyota's Buckeye Cares program. That means Buckeye Toyota will make a very generous donation for every vehicle sold this month. Thank you, Buckeye Toyota, for helping our community. Thank you for calling Buckeye Toyota. How may I help you? The Frankie Smith Funeral Home and Crematory in Lancaster and the Johnson Smith Funeral Home in Baltimore have a long and wonderful history of serving our community. Feel free to give us a call at 740-653-0652. Stop in and see us at either of our two locations, 405 North Columbus Street in Lancaster and 207 South Main Street in Baltimore. Respect for tradition, regard for change. Fairfield Medical Center took care of me like I was family. I was made to feel like I was the only person that they were gonna see that day, even though I knew that wasn't the case. Everyone at Fairfield Medical Center was very attentive. They just put my mind at ease. I was there for 12 days and I felt comfortable there. We were people to them, not a number. They took the time to get to know us, our personalities. Yeah. Well, they saved my life. You know, how do you beat that? I don't know how I could have gotten through it without them. Experience Fairfield Medical Center. Come experience the Huddle Tire difference. Locally owned and operated since 1910. We're your independent tire and auto repair shop. We carry all major brands of tires, including Goodyear, Cooper, BF Goodrich, and many more. But we're more than just tires. From safety inspections to alignments, brakes, shocks, and struts, even preventive maintenance, we can handle it all. Enjoy the ride at Huddle Tire Company, 300 South Columbus Street. Or we can be reached at our website at huddletire.com. Hi, I'm Carol Whittington, and I would like to invite you to stop by Personal Touch Party Rentals and Events, located at 1540 Hubbard Drive in Lancaster. We are a small family-owned business and have been servicing the Central Ohio and Hawking Hills area since 2003. Graduations with a personal touch, weddings with a personal touch, corporate events with a personal touch. Please call us today for all your party rental needs, 740-689-6991. Life is unpredictable. That's why estate planning is important. Estate planning provides you comfort and peace of mind knowing that you're taking care of your loved ones and ensuring your legacy lives on just as you envisioned. You lived a life that is beautifully and uniquely yours. You deserve an estate planning attorney who understands that and creates a plan as unique as you and in the best interest of your loved ones. You deserve the local, trusted, experienced attorneys at Dagger Law. Welcome back to Millersport High School, where your halftime scores Millersport 27, Fairfield Christian 22 in this Division IV opening round tournament game. Let's check some scoring. Both these teams very balanced in their scoring, getting about five guys involved in the scoring. First of all, for Fairfield Christian, John Graben's had two points. It was Ben Hoppel with three. Andrew Keener had five. Matthew Keener with six. And Jay Long also with six points for Fairfield Christian. For the Miller, Miller Sport Lakers, also five guys in the scoring column. It was Trevor Trainish with two. Michael Levesey had three. Wyatt Collins came off the bench and had six in a good first half for him. Trey Johnston had seven. And Jordan Ross led the way with nine points. Three of those, or, or all nine of those, I should say, uh, coming from beyond the three-point arc. I want to check quickly some, uh, some scores from other games that we are checking on in tournament action. In girls' tournament action, the, I'm not sure if this is correct, but the score I've got listed at halftime is Amanda Clear Creek 9, Marion Pleasant 0 at halftime in, in the district semifinal game. In the Lancaster boys uh, basketball tournament game right now, opening round tournament game at Grove City, 
the Gales Trail Grove City 25-13 also at half. So a couple of low-scoring games that we're uh, checking on as well. Here at halftime at Miller Sport, the Lakers lead the Knights 27-22. We're going to take a timeout. We come back, we'll have all your second-half action on the Buffalo Wild Wings Interface Video Productions High School Basketball Game of the Week. Swing into the carriage company and check out our sweet deals. If you're looking for the best selection of clean, quality used vehicles, look no further than the carriage company. You'll feel secure with your purchase, knowing all vehicles undergo an extensive safety and service check prior to the sale. And all vehicles can be viewed online at carriagecompany.com. The Carriage Company, located at 1031 North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. So wait! Presents the Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. Brought to you by Fairfield Medical Center, Dagger Law, the Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield Federal, The Carriage Company, The Savings Bank, Fairfield DD, Personal Touch Party Rentals and Events, The Edwards Insurance Agency, Buckeye Toyota. Huddle Tire and Auto, and North Body Shop. And we welcome you back to Millersport High School opening round tournament action between two Mid-State League Cardinal Division foes, the Millersport Lakers and the Fairfield Christian Knights. These two teams split in the regular season, and here at halftime, it's Millersport on top of Fairfield Christian by 5, 27 22. Ironically, during the regular season, Fairfield Christian won here at Millersport, while Millersport won at Fairfield Christian. Want to uh, tell you about uh, Bella Erlenbach for Millersport. Uh, if you look down on the court uh, while they are warming up, you may see uh, somebody that looks a little different than the rest of the team. That's because Bella comes over from the girls' basketball team. Of course, uh, this if you know the story, this Millersport uh, uh, basketball program the girls basketball program unfortunately had to be shut down. There's Bella. They only had five players, so they had to come together and have a little team meeting and decide, do we want to try to play a season with just five players? And obviously, uh, just a devastating thing to have to decide, but those girls decided that it was just going to be way too tough to, to play a season, a complete season with just five players. They'd be exhausted every single game, and if you could get through the season with no injuries, that would take a lot of luck. And so those girls decided uh, to just cancel their season but Bella wasn't satisfied. She, she said, I'm, I'm an athlete. I, that's what I do. I want to play. I want to do something. Uh, and, and also to be ready for my spring sports. And so Bella went right over. After their team uh, decided to cancel their season, she went right over to the boys' practice, talked to Coach uh, Coward and said, hey, can I play on the boys' team? So, of course, uh, Coach Coward said, well, yeah, but you have to make the team just like everybody else. So Bella made the team. She doesn't get a lot of minutes. She has scored this season, uh, but she adds a little bit of depth to this team that they might not have had without her. On the girls' side, she averaged nine points per game uh, with the Lady Lakers last year. Uh, she plans to run track in the spring, but uh, just a cool story. So uh, Bella, congratulations to you on, on uh, making it on this boys' basketball team. No, she was not just given a roster spot. Coach Coward said, you are going to have to try out and make the team just like anybody else. And uh, Bella did it. So congratulations to Bella. Just a cool story after uh, uh, just devastation of uh, losing out on the girls' basketball season. So uh, Bella 
had a couple of uh, opportunities to score this year, took advantage of those, and uh, just a really neat thing. So congratulations, Bella, and just a, a very cool story. To open the second half, three up no good for Hopple as the Knights trail at 27-22 heading into the second half. There's a pass almost stolen away by Long. It's taken by Ross, who had a really good first half. Now he has it tipped from behind and stolen. Tipped by Long into the hands of Hopple. Graben's thought about that three in the corner, doesn't take it, looking inside. Needs to get rid of it, now gets it out to Keener. Matthew Keener worked on man-to-man -man -man defense by Jordan Ross, now get it right side to Hopple, back out now to Long. Keener, a wide open three, it's off the mark. And saved. No. One official checked with the outer official out here to see if it was tipped or not, and it was not, so it goes out of bounds back to Millersport. Sub into the ball game for, there it was, for the Knights into the ball game of Sam Rao, the junior. Had some quality minutes in the first half. Right side Ross, back out now to Mikey Smith. Nice dump inside, but he couldn't get the bunny to go. Levesey fights for the rebound, his shot no good. And now the put back no good, but a foul gonna be called. Foul is called on Jay Long. That is his second. So that will send Trevor Trainish to the free throw line. Watch how many opportunities they get here. One, two. They'll get a third, no good, but also he was fouled. And back to live action. First free throw is missed. Trainish will get another. Second free throw for Trainish is up and in and out. Well, we've seen a lot of shots on that end of the floor. Look like they're going in, some even in the cylinder and come out tonight. Here's Long, he'll fire up the three. Nice shot by Jay Long. First bucket of the second half. Pulls the Knights to within two at 27-25. Skip pass over to Ross, now back over to Johnston, now down to the corner. Nice dump inside, Levesey. Levesey shot, no good. Rebounded by Rao. On the other end, Hopple, he'll fire up the long three, no good. Rebounded by Trainish. Johnston now quickly up the floor. Pass tipped out of bounds. Good job by Grabens to get a hand on it. Here's that three by Jay Long. Just catch, spot up, shoot. Nothing but net. Here's a long range three, no good for Johnston. We've seen him take a few of those tonight. Way out at the volleyball line. <laughs> I look over at Coach Coward and he just puts his head down and rubs his brow. Keener, that should be a du yep, double dribble. Picked it up to throw a pass and realized his man had turned his back so he tried to just Continuous dribble, but that was too late. Score remains 27-25, 5.53 and counting in the first half. Or I'm sorry, in the third quarter. Dumped down to the corner, Trainish. Back out now to Smith. Johnston now. Back over to Smith. Smith on the drive. Shot off the glass and in. Nice job by Mikey Smith. His first points of the ball game. Hopple on the other end. Baseline jumper no good, rebounded by the Lakers. Johnston will push it up the floor quickly. Two on three, Johnston inside the paint, no good. Ball loose and it goes off of the Lakers. It'll stick with the Knights. Substitution coming in for Fairfield Christian. That'll be Josh Gribben. He replaces Jay Graben. Grabens, or John Grabens, that is. Keener, right side to Hopple with his team trailing 29-25. Here's Rao. Back out now to Keener. Long. Drives inside the paint, puts a shot off the glass, no good. Trainish the rebound, but has it stolen away by Gribben. 
Driven to Rao. And he got it to go. Sam Rao, first bucket of the ball game. Lakers lead it by just two now, 29-27. Johnston right side to Ross. Skip pass over. Was that tipped? No, it was not. Goes back to Fairfield Christian. Oh. However, one official coming in. They're discussing whether or not the ball was tipped. And they'll say it is Miller's Port ball. One official overruled the other and said he saw a tip. And that's good. They get together. They make sure they get the right call. Nothing wrong with that. Johnston skips it over to Ross. Dangerous pass inside to Levesey. Now a hard pass in the paint. Kick it back out Johnston. Now Ross will spot up for three. No good. Good hustle for the rebound by Hopple. Gets it up to Keener. Hopple a little hobbling as he came up the floor. Grabbed his hip after hustling for that rebound. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Rao now, his pass goes over the head of Gribbins out of bounds. Julius Wilson checks in for Fairfield Christian. He does replace Hopple. Hopple gingerly walking over to the bench. Smith back out now to Johnston. 3.51 and counting in the third quarter. Good look inside, no good for Levesey. His second shot up, no good, but he's fouled. Who are they calling it on? Call the foul on Sam Rao. It's his first. So Michael Levesey to the free throw line. There's Commissioner Levesey in the crowd tonight. That's the grandfather of Michael Levesey. Michael's played a good game inside the paint. As the officials had to stop and wipe up some perspiration off the floor. Levesey free throw up and good. Second free throw for Levesey, also good. He knew that one was good as soon as it left his hand. He started running back down the floor. 31-27 now, Lakers. Left side, they get it to Wilson. Back out front, swing it around to Keener, down inside. Good, strong move to the hoop by Jay Long to put it up and in. Long has five of his team's seven points in this half. And it's back to within two at 31-29. Johnston skips it over to Smith. And back to Johnston. And his pass is stolen away by Keener. Here comes Keener to the hoop. And it's up and in, and we're tied up at 31. There's a bad pass inside. It goes off the hands of Levesey out of bounds. Watch this steal here by Keener. It's tipped first, and then Keener off his knee takes control of it, just goes the other way and scores it. We are tied at 31 with FCA with a chance to take their first lead in quite some time. Out to Wilson, They'll swing it around to Rao. Tries to dump it inside to Long. Good job by Long, his shot is blocked. There's Collins again. Wyatt Collins has played outstanding tonight. He blocked that one as Long had a good look at it. Watch this. Yeah, that's clean. Keener dump inside to Gribben. It's stolen away. Johnston quickly up the floor to Ross. Now over to Levesey. Thought about the three, doesn't take it. Inside, they get it to Collins. His shot no good. Rebounded by the Knights. Rao does the smart thing and just waits for his team to get back. Here's Gribben just inside the three-point line, and he got it. 
Josh Gribben. His first points of the night. And the Laker or the uh, Knights with their first lead in a while. Now a steal. The other way. Here comes Rao. Nice move off the glass. No good. Keener the rebound. The putback blocked by Levesey, who hits the floor hard. Michael Levesey came down hard with his feet coming out from under him. And so we're going to get a stoppage for an injured player. It will be a full timeout as you watch the replay here. It's right here. Feet get taken out from under him. He landed hard, and he was grabbing like that right arm area. So hopefully he will uh, be all right and be able to stay in the game. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by the Carriage Company, located at 1031 North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. You can check out their website at carriagecompany.com. Wanted to mention uh, Fairfield Federal. They were our halftime sponsor tonight. They brought you all the uh, first half scoring analysis. Fairfield Federal Savings and Loan Association is your Fairfield County Community Bank, specializing in home mortgage loans. They've been serving the Lancaster community since 1895. Stop in and see us today at any of our three locations in Lancaster on Main Street in downtown Lancaster and on West Fair Avenue or in Pickerington on Cross Creek Keys Bull, Cross Creek, Cross Creeks Boulevard. I'll get it here in a minute. We are banking that revolves around you. That's Fairfield Federal. Right here at Millersport, 33-31. Fairfield Christian leads it with just a few minutes to play in this 2-0-1 to play in the third quarter. Knights just recently took their first lead in quite some time. They are outscoring Millersport 11-4 in this third quarter. It'll be Laker basketball. We get a chance maybe on the next dead ball. I'd like to get a shot of Jordan Ross's shoes as we have a whistle and a foul going to be called on Fairfield Christian. Foul was called on Jay Long. That's his third. Inbound comes in. And a three up and in for Jordan Ross. He has 12 in the game, all of them. There's the shoes. Look at those. Fancy. One of those are two different kinds of shoes on his feet. Both Nikes, but just different designs. I, mean, I can remember back when I was in school, the big deal was uh, everybody had to wear the same type of shoes. I guess now they let them individualize a little bit. And nothing wrong with that as Ross. It doesn't affect his shooting. Absolutely not. He's got four threes in the game. 34-33 is the score. Right side, it's Keener. Takes a screen from Rao. And then tried to get the dump back to him, but it's behind him and stolen away by Millersport. Quickly the other way. Here's Ross. He has the hot hand. What a pass inside, but it's stolen away by Keener. And Ross may be hurt. Back the other way. Keener. Shot no good. Rao the backside rebound. He's trying to go up with it. Has it stripped. And a whistle and a traveling violation. Substitutions coming in. Andrew Keener comes back in for the Knights, and coming back in for the Lakers is Trey Johnston. Also coming in, good to see Hopple coming back in for FCA as he was injured momentarily earlier. Johnston gets trapped over by his own bench, then gets it to Collins. Skip pass over to Smith. Might have shuffled his feet, no call. Smith drives baseline, has it stolen away. Jay Long. Jay Long over to Keener. Andrew back out to Long, thought about the three. Under 30 seconds to play in the third quarter. 34-33 is the score. And there's a pass almost stolen away, down to 20 seconds. Hopple gives it to Keener. Shot up, no good, rebounded by Smith. Down to 12 seconds. Now Johnston with 10. Still has three quarters of the court to go with seven. Johnston being worked on by Hopple. Down to four seconds. Johnston dumps it inside to Collins. Collins turnaround jumper at the buzzer. No good. And we end the third quarter with the Lakers holding on to a 34 to 33 lead as we head into the fourth. What a good quarter that was. Especially for the Knights who took a lead for the first time in, in a while. Coming up in just a little bit at the uh, conclusion of this contest, 
We will have our players of the game. Want to stay tuned for that coming up at the end. We've got a good one going on here. Let's check, check some other uh, tournament action. In girls tournament action, I want to say congratulations to the Bloom Carroll Bulldogs uh, girls basketball team. They are moving on. They will be playing uh, on Thursday night. Also moving on, Fairfield Union will be playing on Friday night in the regional. They knocked off Waverly uh, last Saturday. Amanda Clear Creek, we mentioned them. They are taking on Marion Pleasant right now. At last check, they were winning at halftime. The score we had was 9-0 at halftime. And also in girls basketball action, Fisher Catholic will play tomorrow night. They will play Northmore in the district semifinal. Burn Union girls will take on East Knox. That one will be coming your way on uh, tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. And, of course, boys action. Lancaster Golden Gales are in action tonight. Last check of that score. The Gales were down 25-13 at halftime. We'll get another score when we can. Ross fires up a long-range three. No good. Rebound tipped around and controlled by the Lakers. Here's another three attempt. No good. Rebounded by Keener. Keener, that speed quickly the other way. Keener, coast to coast, no good, but he's fouled. Foul was called on Jordan Ross. That's his third for Millersport. Jordan Ross with 12 points in the game, but three fouls here in the fourth quarter. Keener, free throw up and good. 9 points for Matthew Keener. Second one up, no good. Rebounded by Jay Long. Knights will control it with the score tied at 34. Grabens to the corner, hopple for 3. No good. Trey Johnston the rebound and quickly takes it the other way. He'll skip it over to Ross. His 3 is up and in. Jordan Ross with another three. Give him 15 in the game. All 15 from beyond the three-point arc. That's seven three-pointers as a team for Millersport as they lead it now 37-34. Dump inside, Jay Long, no good. But he's fouled, he's going to the free throw line. Millersport foul is called on Peyton Dilly. That is his first. Jay Long at the free throw line. It is up and good. Jay's had a good game tonight. That gives him 12 points in the game to lead his team. Senior, six foot two, missed the second one, but it's an offensive rebound for Hoppel and the Knights. Hoppel inside the paint, shot is up and in, and he's fouled. Somehow got it to crawl in there. Ben Hoppel. Here's the offensive rebound. That's twice we've seen them do that in recent trips off of free throws. Hoppel just outworked him, and then watch this thing go in somehow as he's fouled. Trainish was called for the foul. And back to live action. Hoppel completes the three-point play. Jordan, Jordan 38-37. One-point lead for Fairfield Christian. Right side. Get it to Trainish. Tries to get it over to Johnston. It's tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Lakers. We told you this was probably going to be a good one. These two teams with identical records both overall and in the Mid-State League Cardinal, and they split the season series. Levesey off the glass, no good. Trainish fights for the rebound, but it's controlled by Hoppel and the Knights. FCA leads it 38-37. 6.34 and running fourth quarter clock. Here's Rao. Back too long. Now Keener. Keener, nice fake. And lost the ball. Tried to... Get it over Gravens, out of bounds. 
Mikey Smith checks into the game for the Lakers. He replaces Trainish. There's a skip pass over to the corner to Smith. Now to Levesey. Levesey shot from the elbow is up and good. Seven points for Michael Levesey. And the Lakers back up by one, 39-38. This one's having that feel of whoever has the ball last might win this one. It's back and forth we go here in the fourth quarter. Rao will fire up the three at the top of the key. No good. Rebound tipped around. Good hustle by Keener. Still loose on the floor. Levesey fights for it. And we have a tie up. Jump ball will stay with Fairfield Christian. Here's that shot from Michael Levesey. Just right over top of Ben Hopple and scored it. So Hopple inbound it, right in a weird spot, just in the corner of the court. Gets it into Rao. And a whistle and a timeout. Coach Roger Hooper will take one. Our timeouts tonight are brought to you by the Carriage Company, located at 1031 North Memorial Drive in Lancaster. You can check out their website at Carriage Company. Com. Looking at some uh, boys tournament action. We mentioned Lancaster in action tonight. Bloom Carroll boys will be in action uh, coming up on Wednesday. They will uh, take on Licking Valley. That's in uh, D Division II Central District. In Division II Southeast, Fairfield Union uh, unfortunately saw their season come to an end uh, last weekend against Jackson. In Division III, it'll be Amanda Clear Creek taking on Johnstown on Wednesday night. Also in Division Three, Liberty Union on Wednesday will play Fairbanks. In Division Four, coming up on Friday, Fisher Catholic will travel to Newark Catholic in tournament action. Also, Burn Union will be in action on Friday. They will play Granville Christian. And, of course, we mentioned Lancaster and Grove City battling tonight in Division One. And that game listed at... 34-25, Grove City leads that one in the third quarter. And we do have an, a correct score from the girls game. Amanda Clear Creek and Pleasant will get you that score momentarily. Here's Keener, has it tipped, but he controls it. Goes back on the dribble in the drive, kick it over the corner for Hopple for three. In and out, back in and out again. And Levesey, the rebound. That score update from the girls Division Three tournament as Johnston takes a long-range three. Amanda Clear Creek trails Pleasant, Marion Pleasant, 33-31 in the third quarter. So a tight ball game there. Hopple down in the corner, gives it to Grabens. Back out now to Keener. We are under five minutes to play in the contest, 39-38 Lakers lead. Hopple in the near corner, takes one dribble, gives it to Grabens, and a whistle on another timeout, gonna be taken by Roger Hooper. So again, checking your scores in Division I, opening round tournament action up at Grove City tonight. The Greyhounds lead the Gales 34 to 25, that in the third quarter. And in Division Three girls tournament action in the third quarter, Marion Pleasant leads Amanda Clear Creek 33 to 31. So a couple good games uh, that we will keep an eye on and bring you the scores as, uh, as we get them and as uh, they, they change throughout the night. So a couple of good ones you're going to want to keep an eye on. I want to say thanks to our Interface Video Productions crew tonight. Up here beside me pushing all the buttons, we've got Bob Competti, Josh Messerly, Donnie Ziegfeld, and, of course, our camera guys tonight. There's Jason Roush high atop the gymnasium, shooting the camera at Tom Russo, who's down on the floor. We've got the best crew in the business at Interface Video Productions, and we thank you at home for joining us whether you are watching live or on replay, we bring you these uh, for the kids. And you're seeing a good one tonight between Fairfield Christian and Millersport. 39 to 38, the Lakers lead it by one. 4.44 to play in regulation. Been very impressed with the balance of scoring by both of these teams. Not one person has just kind of taken over the game individually. It's been a, a balanced attack by both of them. Here's Keener. He'll get it back to Hopple, or over to Hopple. Now Keener again at the top. 
Keener, man-to-man -man defense coming from Smith. Now Hopple. Here's Rao. A lot of patience being shown here by the Knights. Keener will dribble down to the corner, kick it back out to Rao. They'll swing it around the long, and now Hopple. Graven's working hard in the paint, trying to get open, but a good job by Levesey defensively. Long has it tipped as he was going on the drive. Johnston the other way to the hoop. It's in, and he's fouled. Trey Johnston, his first points of the second half. He's going to get a chance to complete the three-point play as Keener was called for the foul. Matthew Keener, that is. That's his second. Check that. That's his third. Johnston at the free throw line. It's up and good. Trey Johnston with 10 points in the game. This is how he got it right here. Got the bucket and the foul. And the Lakers lead at 42-38. Here's Grabens backing his way in. Grabens, nice dump over to Hopple. His shot no good, but he's going to get a free throw. Really good pass. It looked like Grabens was just going to be trapped and couldn't do anything with it. And somehow he was able to find Hopple wide open over on the other block. And then Hopple was fouled. The foul was called on Wyatt Collins, his second. Hopple back to the free throw line. No good. These are the ones you need when the clock is stopped. Need all the points you can get. Second one for Hopple is good. Seven points in the game for Ben Hopple. Back to a three-point game, 42-39. Johnston. Boy, Knights are really playing some stingy defense here, trapping the passes. And a whistle and a timeout, I believe, is called. Millersport fans and coach not happy about that one. They thought that the ball was loose. But the official on the far side, let's check it here when the whistle blows. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure there was control of it when he. All right, maybe Keener did have it when he, when he blew the whistle and called the timeout. The official over by the scorer's table is the one we're watching. So well, here it is. He's making the motion to blow the whistle as Keener is gaining control. So it's a good timeout by the Knights. They are now out of timeouts with 3.31 to play in the, in the regulation, trailing 42 to 39. And this is where one of the assistant coaches has to be reminding every single player, we have no timeouts left. We don't want a Michigan situation here where we, we call a timeout and we don't have any. So it's Knights basketball trailing by three, 42-39. 325 and counting in the in regulation. I say regulation because this is one that's looking more and more like it's going to come down to the last possession. Long has a shot blocked by Levesey, and it's into the hands of Jordan Ross. Johnston, skip pass over. Dump inside to Collins, loose on the floor, picked up by Rao. Here come the Knights over to Hopple. Hopple spots up for three. No good. Nice job by Rao to get the rebound. Back to Hopple again inside the paint. Nice pass over to Rao. His shot's blocked. Now a whistle and a foul going to be called on Fairfield Christian. They will get Ben Hopple with it. Here's the replay of the block. Yeah, that's a clean block. Ben Hopple called for the foul. That's his first. Lakers lead it 42 to 39. 247 and counting here in regulation. Johnston skips it way over to Ross. Inside the pass. That's not a good one. He was not open. He's trying to get it into Wyatt Collins. 
And a whistle and a foul called on Collins as he's going for the basketball. That's his third. So the Knights with the basketball trailing by three, 42-39. Rao, pass over to Keener is tipped into the backcourt. They'll skip it down to the corner to Hopple. Now to the elbow, shot is up and in for Jay Long. 14 points for Jay, and they're back to within one, 42-41. Right side in the corner. Ross kicks it. Nice dump from Levesey to Collins. Collins luckily was able to control, and here's Ross. His shot is in and out. Wow. Grabens with the rebound. Knights with a chance to take a lead, 42-41 currently. A minute 42 to play in regulation. Hopple back out front to Long. Now left side, Rao. Pass is tipped out of bounds. It'll stay with the Knights. So FCA to inbound on the near sideline. Keener hands it off to Hopple. Right side now to Rao. Clock rolls at 122. Here's Keener, directing some traffic. Keener from the free throw line. What a shot there for Matthew Keener. 11 points in the game for Matthew Keener. And the Knights lead it now by one, 43-42, to a, and a minute to play in the game. In the corner, Ross fires up the three. How did he get that one? Jordan Ross, another three. 45-43, Lakers lead it. Hopple drives baseline. Reverse layup, no good. Levesey controls it. Down to 42 seconds. Keep in mind, the Knights cannot call timeout if they get the basketball. There's a pass out of bounds going back to Fairfield Christian. But the Knights have no timeouts. They trail it by two, 45-43. Watch this replay of Jordan Ross in the corner. Drained it. Jordan Ross with 18 points in the game. All 18 from behind the three-point arc. Lakers lead it 45-43. Knights with the basketball down to 24 seconds. Here's Grabens. Grabens to Hopple. In the corner, Keener. Down to 18 seconds. Looks like they're going to work for one shot. Keener drives. Ooh, wow, Grabens somehow controlled that one. It looked like it was going to go sailing out of bounds. Now he loses it with nine seconds. Into the hands of Johnson, and he's fouled. Yeah, he just lost control of it as he was going to pass it. So now we're going to have Trey Johnston at the free throw line. Shooting one and one. And not sure what's going on. There's a conversation going on over on the far side. As it will be Trey Johnston to shoot one and one. The foul was called on Ben Hopple. That's his second. Let's get to our players of the game while we have a stoppage right now. Players of the game, let's go with our Fairfield Christian player of the game first of all, brought to you by the Edwards Insurance Agency. The Edwards Insurance Agency is an independent insurance agency with over 60 years of experience. See the difference personal care makes. Contact the Edwards Insurance Agency for all your insurance needs at 740-653-4004. Our Fairfield Christian player of the game tonight, number five, senior Jay Long with 14 points in the contest right now. He's had a great game. There he is, number five, Jay Long. He is our player of the game for Fairfield Christian. And in just a moment, we will get to our player of the game for Millersport. As Trey Johnston is at the free throw line. First free throw is up and good. That makes it a three-point game. 
If he makes this one, it's a two-possession game with just 6.7 seconds to play. And they cannot call timeout. The Knights cannot. Second free throw. Good. Wow. So they're up by four, down to four seconds. Long for three. No good. And the Lakers will move on as they win this one, 47 to 43 over the Fairfield Christian Knights. Tally up our final scoring and also get ready to give you our player of the game. Our Millersport player of the game tonight is brought to you by the Savings Bank, where community always comes first. The Savings Bank, proud of our heritage, founded by local people, committing to serving individuals and businesses in southeastern Ohio. Learn more at thesavingsbank.com. Our Millersport player of the game tonight, Jordan Ross, just an outstanding night shooting tonight. Jordan averages 12.3 points per ball game tonight. He put in 18 with six three-pointers. That's right, six three-pointers for Jordan Ross to lead his team tonight to victory where they will move on to take on Grove City Christian. That game will be this Friday night, so congratulations to Millersport. Let's take a look at some final scoring. First of all, for Fairfield Christian, it was... Andrew Keener with five. Matthew Keener had a good game with 11 points. Josh Gribben had two. Ben Hoppel had seven. Sam Rao with two. And John Grabens had two points. And leading the way was our Fairfield Christian player of the game tonight. It was Jay Long with 14 points. For Millersport, Trevor Trainish had two points. Mikey Smith had two. Wyatt Collins with six points. Michael Levesey had seven. Trey Johnston had 12 points. And leading the way for the Lakers tonight was our Miller Sport player of the game, Jordan Ross, with 18 points. And his team wins it tonight by a final score of 47 to 43. Congratulations to the Miller Sport Lakers. Moving on to the second round of the tournament this Friday night, where they will take on Grove City Christian, another Mid State League Cardinal Division opponent. So good, good luck to them as they move on. And we want to say once again thank you to our Interphase Video Productions crew tonight Bob Competti, Josh Messerly. We also have Donnie Ziegfeld over here pushing buttons. And down on the court uh, on the camera is Tom Russo. And up by me on the uh, top camera is Jason Roush. Again, your final score tonight, Miller Sport 47, Fairfield Christian 43. For all of our Interface Video Productions, there's Donnie. For all of our Interface Video Productions crew, I'm Jared Stewart. Have yourselves a great night, everybody. IVP Sports presents the Buffalo Wild Wings High School Basketball Game of the Week. Brought to you by Fairfield Medical Center, Dagger Law, the Frank E. Smith Funeral Home, Fairfield Federal, The Carriage Company, The Savings Bank, Fairfield DD, Personal Touch Party Rentals and Events, The Edwards Insurance Agency, Buckeye Toyota, Huddle Tire and Auto, and North Body Shop.